it's Miss GQ in the building, and we're back with Raw Hip Hop. That's right, guys. I know you guys miss me, but we're back. It's Thursday. It's Thirsty Thursday, <laughs> and I know you guys have been waiting all week to hear the latest gossip on the celebrities, but we have a guest today. Yes, that's right. We have a guest. I'm very excited. Tell them your name, because I want to pronounce it the right way. So <laughs> let us know what your name is. All right. Uh, my name is Sheldon. Sheldon Valson. Sheldon. It's like Sheldon, but Sheldon. Sheldon. Oh, That's nice. You got you to be strong to say my Charlton. name. Sheldon. You got to drink your milk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we have a guest today, Sheldon, and we're very excited. So, Sheldon, tell us a little bit about yourself. We know you as a host and... Tell us your Instagram name so people can follow you and all that. All right. First of all, first and foremost, I want to say thank you for having me. Of course. And I'm honored and blessed to be here, you know. And, um, uh, well, my Instagram name is um, Sheldon underscore Valson. So C-H-A-R-L-D-Y-N underscore Valson, V-A-L-C-I-N. All right, cool. I also have a new one that I have just for just for hosting. Mm -hmm. It's host underscore Valson. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, you guys, I just want to let you guys know, like, this is the hottest. <laughs> if you want your parties to be popping, yeah. he do, you do weddings, right? Yeah, he does weddings. Any type of party you need, he's there. Like, he's going to hype up your party. If you need that hype man like that person that's gonna make your party really popping this is the guy to go to so i don't think you guys understand like who we got in the building today okay so i already put up his information on my instagram at miss gq radio so you guys can definitely follow him but right now we're just gonna get into the nitty-gritty like tell us a little about yourself how did you get started in the hosting business all right first first and foremost i always, you know i always put god first everything that i do mm -hmm. i'm a god family man you know, and, uh, um, um, I've been I've been hosting all my life really but I never got really got paid for it <laughs> yeah you know and um, but um, well with the host thing let me see I did a wedding one time mm -hmm. and um, after the wedding everybody said Sheldon that was great like you did wonderful I'm like well you know I'm just I love people I love to enjoy myself and, and I did another another wedding mm -hmm. they're like wow Sheldon this should be a business. <laughs> what are you doing? You know? And then that's how it got, it got started. That's really? how it got started. Absolutely. So now, then how do you segue into that? Like, I know there's probably a lot of people who are out there who probably, like, are live and, like, very hip like you. Yeah, right. And they probably, you know, their friend probably, like, told them, like, oh, host this party for me or whatever. And maybe they're looking to make it into a business, too. So how did you do that? Like, what was the next step into getting that actually to happen? What it is is you want to get a team. You want to get a team. You want to get a team where you want to have a publicist. You know, you don't want somebody that's going to post you. Like, Instagram is wonderful. I can mm -hmm. tell you that much. <laughs> you know, you want you want to sell yourself. You want to sell yourself, you know. And um, my manager, Vasti Etienne, she's wonderful. You know, she put the post and everything like that, you know. And my wife is so supportive. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, I love my wife. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and um, she always give me shout-outs, you know. Oh, mm -hmm. book my husband here and there. Mm -hmm. up, and also Cassandra, too, one of my sisters from church. Mm -hmm. And it's all, you want to have a team that's going to promote you, yeah. you know. And it's word of mouth, really, word mm -hmm. of mouth, you know. And um, I just did a poetry um, lounge with um, Jess, Jessica. And um, the the ports were so great. It was mm -hmm. wonderful. It was wonderful. And um, it's all about... I, I, my, my goal is to at least get one referral from one event. Okay. So if I'm able to get one referral from one event, I'm satisfied. Mm -hmm. You know? So I'll, I'm just like that. That's good. That's cool. So do you do mostly weddings or what is your expertise? All right. So let me, let me, let me start from the beginning. Here. Okay. Okay. Um, like I was saying before, you know, I'm a church going guy and um, I direct service at church. Mm -hmm. So me and the mic is not an issue. You know, that's mm -hmm. how it started. That's my foundation right there. You know, and I'm a youth leader at my church and also I'm in Boston Mass Choir too. So it's All like right. you being around people, it just it's nothing to me. And I love that. Mm -hmm. You know, and um I wanna I wanna tell I wanna talk I wanna tell the people about myself a little bit. Yeah, go ahead. Get into it, okay? A lot of people wanna know about yeah. like, you know, the background and stuff, so cool, that's good. Cool, definitely. Well, 
like I said, I do have a beautiful wife named Stephanie, mm-hmm. my African queen. How you doing, love? <laughs> Your I'm African Haitian. queen. <laughs> you are my African queen. <laughs> Girl, my dream. Oh, shoot. We got a singer in the building, hey, too. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Let me tell you, she went to study in Malaysia. Mm-hmm. And that's all I played. She went for nine months. Oh, really? And that's all oh, I wow. played until she returned. Even mm-hmm. my mother was laughing at me <laughs> for just playing that song so much, you know. But How um, did you guys meet? Well, I love love stories. Yeah. So you just got me. <laughs> you need right. to tell I, me how you guys met and I all that. I got you. I got you. So I used to work at Fleet Bank. Um, it was called Fleet Bank. I think it's Bank of America now. Bank of America? Yeah, I think so. So and um, all right, I'm sorry to pause on the love, but right. we're gonna get back to that. We're gonna play a little. Were we playing a song, a commercial? Let's play commercial real quick, and then we'll get back to the love story. Hey, hey. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right, and we are back. We got Sheldon in the building. Did I say it right? Yeah, all right, you got okay. it, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Sheldon in the building. And before we went on break, we were hearing from him about his love story, how he met his wife. For those of you who are just tuning in, this is the biggest host and biggest party host. He does all the major parties. So if you ever need somebody to make your par- party very hype and just get that hype man in there to get all of your guests just really live, he's the guy for you. So let's get back to the wife. How did you meet your wife? All right. So I was I was in the train. I was working at Fleet Blank. I didn't have a car yet, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, How old were you? Am well, I not thanks. supposed to ask that? Oh. No, that's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <clears throat> I think I was about 17, 17, mm-hmm. 17, 18. Just right out of high school. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, um... Like I was saying, I was dressing up, you know, I got my outdoor shoes on, I was <laughs> always looking good, you know, and I was sleeping, mm-hmm. and I woke up, I was like, whoa, because she was from Atlanta, mm-hmm. when somebody's not from around here, you could tell, Yeah. I was like, you were sleeping at your job? <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, wait, no wait, I was what? on the train, the orange line, oh, okay, okay, I was on the orange line, and mm-hmm. um, I woke up like, wow. I got to talk to her, mm-hmm. you know, because she was so gorgeous. And you could tell she's not from here. Yeah. And um, so wherever she got off, I got off like a stalker, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and um, I saw her looking at a baby. Mm-hmm. So the first thing I asked her when she got out, I ran after her. I'm like, that baby, that baby was cute, right? And she was like, yeah. And I'm like, when are you going to have your baby? Oh, my I, Yeah, straight up. Usually, usually I, I, you know, I'm like, I give some lines like, hey, yeah, sexy, yeah, get yeah. out of your Pepsi. <laughs> you know, but this time I went straight, you know, straight. Mm-hmm. She's like, when I'm married, I'm going to mm-hmm. have my baby. And that's what I was looking for also, you yeah. know. I want to get married. I mean, it doesn't have to happen like that for everyone. Mm-hmm. But for myself, yeah. that's what I wanted. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, that's what's up. So I'm like, I think you're gorgeous. My name is Sheldon. Here's my number. Call me maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say like that. Okay. But um, yes, I, I, I said, go ahead and call me. And mm-hmm. I don't want to waste your time. And yeah. I don't want you to, well, I don't want to waste my time or your time. Just call me. Yeah. And um, she had to wait till 11 p.m. to call me because you know as a youngster yeah. using the house phones yeah so <laughs> she had to wait for her auntie to go to um to work and then she called me I was like yeah <laughs> and then that was it that was it that was it right there and um she moved back to um Atlanta mm-hmm. I was like I don't care because I was working at Stop and Shop and a Fleet Bank so I was balling you were balling I was balling <laughs> if you're 17, 16 you're making that money I was balling, you know, and um, so I'm like, I'm going to send you the ticket. I'm going to come see you, you know. Mm-hmm. I was sending stuff to her, letters and everything like that. Oh, that's so cute. You know, and um, we talk every 4 o'clock. Nice. Every 4, at 4 p.m., it was just me and her just talking. Com- communication is the key. Every yeah. Every relationship. If you have God as your foundation, 
and then you have communication you'll go very far very that's far. very true yes <laughs> so how long have you guys been married we've been married for four years now. wow four years we've been together for 10 years what yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's yeah. crazy but that's yeah. awesome that's really good i like her a little bit i like her <laughs> <laughs> clearly so are you you're african too right Sometimes. Sometimes. No, I'm Haitian. I'm oh, Haitian. you're Haitian. Yeah. This whole time, yes. I thought that you were African. You know oh, why I thought you. that? I think it's because <laughs> you always refer to your wife being African. I assume that you're African too. Well, people say we look alike too. So I don't know if you see that, but um, I a little bit, but yeah, I'm Haitian. I'm Haitian. Wow. Okay. So how did that the whole family blending mix? Was that hard? Like. I was hoping you didn't ask that question, <laughs> <laughs> but um, let's be honest here. Um, her fa- her side of the family did not come to the wedding. She probably gonna kill me to, for me to say that, but what? that's okay. It's okay. I hope her mother's not listening. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she didn't. Come, they didn't come to the wedding, so we got married um, because. We were in love. She fought for me, actually, because she left her family, mm-hmm. you know, and um, came to Big Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but... So, so uh, what's, what was the issue? Were you guys, they, they just didn't like you, or is it the, like, culture thing? Well, yes. Because I know some yes. Africans don't like Haitians. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm yeah. Haitian, too. Everybody knows that that's listening, but just for you to know, I don't yeah. know. Oh, yeah. You I, I know you're Haitian. Okay. I know you're Haitian. <laughs> but yeah, I think it was the culture thing because they didn't know me at all. Yeah, you know, even for prom, she has to sneak out. Oh you wow! Know, I had dyslexics with TVs everywhere. I'm like, I'm gonna take you to prom. Mm-hmm. So she snuck out because they had somebody for her already. You know, I mean, some Haitians they do that too. Yeah, you know, it's 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 just you know ignorant, it, you know, mm-hmm. ignorance to be to be honest with you. But um, so we got married because. What God has for you is for you, you know? Exactly. And, um, but I think probably three years ago, well, maybe, maybe two years ago, everything is lovely. They get to, they got to know me. They see mm-hmm. I take care of my queen and they got nothing to say, you mm-hmm. know? So they gave us, they gave, we had a traditional party, you know, because if you're African, there's a traditional party. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, wedding, traditional wedding and then a white wedding. A white wedding? Yeah. So the church one. Oh, okay. Yeah, so with the traditional wedding, we had um, African clothes oh. made, custom made. Mm-hmm. That was in August. So they did that for us. and um, That's so cool. Yeah, I didn't know that Africans there. did things like that. Oh, yeah. They, so wait, in the in the church wedding, everybody has to wear white? No, 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 no. My wife wore white. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not getting baptized. <laughs> no, I don't know. no. No, basically, it's called a white wedding. Mm-hmm. Um, so the tr- traditional wedding is custom made clothes and everything yeah. like that. It was amazing. And you guys could check the Instagram, you could see the pictures and everything like that. That's supposed to happen prior mm-hmm. to the white wedding. Oh, that's super cool. Uh, yeah, but we went backwards because. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they know, didn't come to the. Right, yeah. but we love each other now. Mm-hmm. Everybody's happy now, you know, and. God took God took over. <laughs> That's good. Oh, wait. I think we have a caller. Uh-oh. Hold on one second. Let's mm-hmm. take this caller. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? I can hear you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? This is Miss GQ. Who am I speaking with? Uh, my name is Derek. Hi, Derek. What questions do you have for our host here? Oh, I got a question for you. Oh, for me? Yes. Okay. Uh, with the last name, like, uh, Walton, how did you not figure it out that he was Haitian? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you for being Mr. Genius. I wasn't really putting two and two together, I guess you can say. Great show. <laughs> Anything else? Why? Uh, oh, the acronym GQ. What does that mean? What does my name GQ mean? Yes, Miss GQ. Okay. Well, people have asked me this before, but I'll explain again. Um, I have friends who actually made that name for me. They started calling me Miss GQ or Sir GQ in my in my church, Sister GQ, because. 
I'm always dressed up. Like, I'm never, nobody ever sees me in, like, sweatpants or, like, a T-shirt. I'm always, like, really, really fancy. And um, they were like, yo, she's always GQ'd up. Like, she's always GQ. So then that was my nickname and it stuck. Question for Mr. Dolphin. Yes, sir. How uh, is it uh, for you being married with an African girl? Best thing I ever did in my life, my man. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm very, very happy. Wonderful. Well, thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. No problem. And where, where, where are you from? Me? Where are you? I'm, I'm from Jacksonville, Mississippi. Okay. What nationality are you? Jamaican. Oh, yes, Naya. <laughs> Una, Naya. <laughs> All right, everything blessed. Okay, thank, thank you. you for calling. All right.